Is a room temperature superconductor without resistance too good to be true? The summer of superconductivity really kicked off in late July after researchers at South Korea's Quantum Energy Research Center and Virginia's William & Mary released papers announcing they found the material with superconductor-like properties along with a video of the compound levitating over a magnet. The revelation trended on social media as internet scientists, both trained and novice alike, talked about the life-changing possibilities, with the caveat, this is big if true. LK99, as it's known, is a compound of copper, lead, phosphorus, and oxygen. Superconductors have two properties. They have zero resistance, so they carry current without any loss. Uh, the other thing is they have a tendency to expel magnetic fields. Um, and so the combination of this means that uh, not only can you make wires without current loss, uh, you can use coils of superconductors that make the highest field magnets that we know. Dr. Michael Norman is a material physicist and distinguished fellow at Argonne National Laboratory. Probably the biggest application of superconductors are in MRI machines in hospitals. Magnetic coils in MRI machines must be cooled to negative 270 degrees Celsius using helium. So the function comes at massive costs of energy. Beyond improving the efficiency of MRI machines, a room temperature superconductor would open the door to quantum computers. Quantum computer is a type of computer where if you look at your laptop or what have you, right, it works in terms of bits. Bits on off is zero or one. So what happens in a quantum computer is the bit is a superposition of zero and one. Put simply, they offer more computing power than even the most powerful supercomputer. A more tangible use for superconductors would be in high-speed trains. Maglev trains already exist. In fact, a recent test run in China saw one hit 281 miles per hour, making it the fastest train in the world. They use magnets to levitate the train on a thin cushion of air above the tracks. Again, the immense cost would dwindle at the prospect of a room temperature superconductor like LK99. But despite the massive promise, the release papers had yet to be peer-reviewed and even faced accusations of being published by one of the authors without approval of their collaborators. I would guess that the reason the other two authors didn't want it posted was they didn't think it was quite there yet. The paper needed to be polished, the data needed to be looked over some more, etc. Now, weeks later, report after report show no other researchers could replicate the findings. In fact, they point out that it's not a conductor at all, but instead an insulator. And on that video of the levitating compound, a former Harvard researcher was able to replicate the phenomenon by making a pellet of compressed graphite with iron shavings attached to it, which is far from the promised superconductor. For those worried they may be getting duped by science, Dr. Norman says claims of these types of breakthroughs aren't uncommon. One of the roles of scientists, people make you know outstanding claims uh, and then they're worth checking out. If LK99 had been the room temperature superconductor the world had been waiting for, things wouldn't have changed at the flip of a switch. If you look at some of the technology that's going into the fusion reactor in France and into the upgrade of the Large Hadron Collider, uh, those materials were discovered in the 50s. And just now in the last decade of people trying to uh, uh, you know, make uh, technological applications out of them, and those things are just alloys of niobium and tin, right? This material is far more complicated than that. And physicists truly enjoyed a couple of weeks of media attention even if LK99 ended up being a flash in the pan. And so I think uh, giving attention to the field is good. You know, what we do with materials physics is we try to discover materials uh, that will impact people's lives. So I think uh, this kind of attention uh, can have a positive uh, aspect to it. Thanks for watching. In this time of media mistrust, Straight Arrow News is on a mission to bring you unbiased, fact-based reporting. So like and subscribe to Straight Arrow News below. And to see all of our content, go to straightarrownews.com.